Alright, hey guys, this is Cloud Katune. We're back for some more Rune Factory 3, and we have a goal today. That goal being Marry the Carmen. Because that's what we want to do. Because that's what I want to do. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh Hopefully I will succeed. If not, I at least I tried. So many seeds. Okay, and then I want I want this. Make land for me, please. Get rid of that. No. No. There we go. I'm just like trying to level these things up. Um. Okay, and who needs food? You know what? It, it would not hurt just to feed them all. Uh, I got enough. Yeah, just put it on the floor. <laughs> That's how that will help. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Bumper. <laughs> oh, and uh, on another note, if you are watching this on the uh, Patreon, I will probably, hopefully, uh, be streaming some story of seasons tonight or well I say tonight but like my <laughs> it'd be like my afternoon um or evening my evening yes because I am awake why oh I also just realized like some of these are not actually watered did I miss the first row is that what happened whoops I didn't mean to do that. Also, why do you stand like right where I need it? Please. Thank you. Uh, oh well. I was gonna say, like, I think you just selected one. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so I do need. Alright. I need to get rid of you. And you. I'll worry about the rest later. There we go. Okay, so I do have my ring. So all I need to do is talk to Carmen. I think I've done all of her quests. Let me double check. Um, nothing else showing up. All right. Let's make sure there's nothing else over here. Ba 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 ba. Yep. All right. Let's go ask her to hang out with me. You're not her. Where's your sister? I'm here to chat. It's totally the season for salmon. Why is it? Oh, I was like, why is it glowing like that? This is like trying to produce a heart. Good fish, good food. A happy baby sister. What more could I ask for? <laughs> now, if I could just find a su sweet somebody to by my side. Ahem. Yeah. Uh, where is she though? Carmen. I'm in love with you! Uh... She's not over there. Whoop, sorry, wrong button. Oh. Uh, hello? Raven... 
was talking about how concerned she was for the blacksmith the other day. Karina suggested I teach her a certain trick. What trick? <laughs> the customer service smile. Customers are always annoyed when they greeted with a sunny smile. There's no better way to start an interaction than a mean smug then. To mean mug them? I'm sorry. What did Raven say? She nodded firmly in a good disagreement. <laughs> I bet she did. Okay. Uh, oh, there she is. I see her. If you're looking for a recommendation, I'd say Skipjack. It's in season and all. Oh, if you're not catching the seasonal fish, what are you doing? Oh, hey, random question. Have you ever gone out fishing in the rain? I sure have. Sometimes I'll look at the sky and be like, Whoa! All above me is sky the color of steel and floating raindrops. It always feels like I'm getting pulled upwards. The only sounds of the pattering of the rain and the crashing of the waves. I can't imagine anything more soothing. You should give, uh, try it sometime. That sounds like a wonderful way to distress. I'll give it a shot one of these days. It does involve getting completely drenched, so you'd probably take a hot bath to warm up after. Don't want to catch it cold, you know? <laughs> Good advice. Also relatable considering I do live in an area where rain happens a lot. And uh, let's just say I, yeah, taking a hot shower afterwards is very, very nice. Okay, and then invite! Invite! Hey, girl, want to tag along for a bit? Okay. You know, while we're out, why don't we go do a little fishing? I know this sweet spot, a little fishing hole near the waterfall. Alright, so I wondered, um, does it matter if I take her to this one location? Or does it have to be, like, further into the dungeon? like uh this spot Ooh, rainbow <gasps> is it gonna happen it just automatically happens as long as they have the item in hand <gasps> i didn't know that okay i've never married in this game <laughs> can you tell ah <laughs> uh, this is always a nice spot to visit it really soothes the spirit doesn't it it sure does want to take a quick break here Sure, hang on. I'll get out our lunch. Thanks. She's prepared already. Mm. I can say the spray all the oh, I can feel the spray all the way from here. It's so refreshing. Uh it's definitely a worthwhile view. Isn't the roaring something? Why don't you go meditate under it? No. It's it's a this. <laughs> this view is well worth the price of admission. You can feel the power of nature in your very bones. Right? Mother Nature is amazing. Sometimes when I'm out fishing, I suddenly feel like I've become one with nature. I'm like, wow. I really just a teeny bit, a teeny part of something so much bigger. A lot of people don't seem to appreciate that competitive, uh, contemplative, sorry, part of fishing, huh? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Agree. Wait a sec. Did the subject suddenly turn back to fishing? It always seems to go that way, huh? Weird. Oh yeah, while well, it's on my mind. I know that we, we're mastering pupil and all, but um... I kind of... F I'm kind of sorry about that. Huh? About what? Just all the fishing stuff. In retrospect, I am being pretty pushy about it when I gave you that old fishing pole. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm grateful you did. It was more like a nudge. I like fishing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did come up strong. Um, I mean, I both are technically correct, I think. Because, like, I, I do like the fishing, but uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm grateful you did. No, it's okay, really. Sure, I was a little surprised at the time, but I'm grateful for it now. Really? Well, darn. That's the best possible outcome I could- I'll take it. Fishing is a regular part of my life now. 
thanks to you, so I wouldn't sweat it. So how's this solitary life treating you? Do you like living on your own? I've been kind of thinking about getting my own place myself. Oh, really? I'm actually kind of surprised. You are? I'm so jealous of folks like you and Daria who have your own places. Living with Carlos is fine, but it's not always smooth sailing. Some days, he makes me want to rip my hair out. So, what's it like living on your own? Lonely. <laughs> uh, the freedom is intoxicating. I love it. It's kind of lonely, actually. I'd like to build a family one day. Uh, I mean, oh god, I, does it really matter what I say? With the size of my house, I bet a whole family would <laughs> could live there comfortably. I was thinking about that, and then it hit me. Yeah, I kind of want a family. You think about stuff that, like starting a family, huh? Interesting. A family, huh? Hmm. <laughs> wow. When did it get this late? Time really does fly when we're having fun. The breeze isn't getting any warmer either. We should probably head back. Yeah, let's go. Am I not gonna propose? Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's now or never. Time to give her the engagement ring. Uh. Who is that? <laughs> Here we go. Wait, what? Why are you giving this to me? I, I don't need it. It wasn't like I that for me. I. Wait, this isn't. Uh, this is another one of those pranks, isn't it? You're teasing me because I have feelings for you. Well, look at me. I'm laughing. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> I'm the worst. I can't do anything right today. I wasn't able to show off a single bite. A uh, single uh, show off a single bit. And now my head is spinning in every direction all at once, and I barely even know what to say. I was content just going fishing together. That's all. So why is my heart gotta hurt like this? Why do I have to love you so much? Carmen, listen to me. I'm a mess here too. My heart is racing and even breathing is a challenge right now. You weren't the only one who's a total wreck over being in love. I want to show off to the for the one I'm, I love too. But I made a total embarrassment out of myself on more than one occasion. Cloud. Ever since we went fishing together for the first time, I thought you were a wonderful person. So, when you told me how you felt, I was ecstatic. I was practically soaring through the sky. Today, I was finally able to gather myself and give you my answer. That what brings us here now. Will you marry me? I want to be get together with you. From now until we both wrinkly tottery old folks and beyond. Cloud! Aw, hug. I love you. <laughs> Aw, well, I'm so happy. There, there. I can't stop crying. I'm so happy. I have to remind myself to breathe. Help! Oh, God! <laughs> stop! God, she is chie. <laughs> I'm being murdered. Hey! Ending! Uh, credits? <laughs> We're not in winter yet! <laughs> I haven't done winter! Uh, oh, isn't this the same credits? Just slightly different, I guess? Or is it the same? It's been a while since I watched the credits, that's why. Yeah, it's the same credits. I think the only thing that might have been different was m maybe the opening with Micah in front of the tree? I don't know. But... Yay! We proposed! We are going to get married, sort of. 
I know something's about to happen before that because we gotta do the dungeon, but we're engaged. <laughs> Yay! It's funny that the, the girl I picked doesn't show up until like near the end of this credit scene. <laughs> she, I guess she's like the least popular one of the series. Which is unfortunate because I like her the most. Like, there she is, finally. Oh, I guess- oh hey, she wasn't there last time. Hello, that was new. Okay, she was the last one. <laughs> Which, I mean... What is that knocking sound effect? Good morning, what brings you here this early? Uh, Wells? You're freaking me out a little. Now, Cloud. I want you to stay calm, okay? We've looked everywhere, but Carmen is gone. Huh? What do you mean she's gone? I mean what I said, I'm afraid. We've combed every inch of the town, but we can't find Carmen anywhere. That can't be right. She has to be somewhere. I mean, today's the day we get married. I'm gonna go look for her right now. Cloud, wait! She has to be here. She has to. Let me ask everyone if they've seen her. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's already asked, but... I, I get his worry. Help! I'm trying to find my gal! Everyone's still sleeping. <laughs> it's too early in the day! I wonder, um... Do you have to talk to them about it, or...? Hello. Cloud, are you okay? Yeah. She's only one person. I don't think she's gone very far. Uh. Alright. Tutorial. <laughs> Cloud, please don't let it discourage you. But she hasn't come to the settlement. That tells me that she likely is, has not left town. True. I'll go back and look harder. Please do. I'll be sure to get in touch with you if I find anything out. Uh, oh. Once I've heard a rumor that a book that devours the memories of its owner. That's only a mildly terrifying thought. Yes. They say it gobbles them up with a glutton at a feast. <laughs> that is only a rumor, of course. I can't say if there's any any kernel to truth of it. Though I do admit it, I'm uh, intrigued to find out and uh, <laughs> look into such a mysterious book if ever can give it the chance. That does sound interesting for sure. Okay, let us take a look. Hello, are you awake? I mean, Korean is probably not. Oh no, she's awake. These things just happen sometimes, you know? So, uh, chin up and all that. Jeez, I suck at giving empty reassurances. There's certain things that I want to try out, even if I know what's going to happen if I do. Such as? Giving someone a thing that Sophia despises, then asking them to deliver it to her. Uh... What? <laughs> you you haven't done that, right? Of course not. To be fair, it was hilarious. Uh oh. Well, I didn't see this coming. Maybe she's uh, wasn't wild to the on the day of marriage. A uh, half monster, after all. No, I shouldn't have my big mouth like that. I'm sorry, Cloud. Why are you mean? We don't have a huge clientele at our shop. But we do have plenty of regulars. That you do. I'm one of them. Bop, 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 bop. Somebody help! Help me, I don't know where my wife is. I'm so sorry. I can't think of anything that would help. I see. I'm sure something must have happened that she just couldn't tell you about. I'll help you look, though. 
You keep your chin up and eyes forward, okay? Today's clothes. Oh, okay. I think I'll get her some risotto. She's has kind of, uh, she has looked kind of down lately. Who has? I like to, to help Shiro with her chores a lot. Really? That's nice of you. Mm -hmm. I'll help you out sometime too. Aw, that'd be great, thanks. I got monsters, you probably like them. I can't say where she's gone, but I did notice she seems dazed lately. Perhaps it was too much of a burden after all. Huh? Never mind, it's nothing. What does that mean? Monica begged me to knit her a hat. <laughs> she's still such a little girl. Uh, she's a sneaky one, that Shira. I suspect this is all part of her plan. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Why is everyone so mean? Yo, Cloud, come to ask for, uh, for a new ring as a makeup person? Uh, n no? <laughs> what? I'd make that myself if I needed one. Uh. True, true. Well, good luck to you. Absolutely not help. <laughs> I suggest you tr work on your forging skills if you want to get anything out of eating weapon recipe bread. Keep in mind that it'll be harder for you to learn recipes for certain weapons if you aren't good at using that weapon yet. Okay. So it didn't work out. I was afraid it wouldn't. Monsters and humans simply can't be together. How could you say that? Like, my parents were, <laughs> apparently. That's how I'm half, right? One of my parents had to be a monster where the other one had to be a human. It's funny, the other night I was woken up by a sound... Uh... By a sound sleep by a sharp rapping at my window. Curious, I went outside to see what it could have been and... <gasps> huh? Is something wrong? That's nothing. Oh, was it you? Nobody knows. Perhaps she's taking a exp expired medicine. Don't worry. It's only prescription for bad medicine is good medicine. And I've got su just the potion. I mean, let's use more supportive. Uh, Maria? That's an awful... <laughs> awfully dark liquid you have there in that flask. At least, I think it's a liquid? Do I want to know what it is? Oh, this? It's for Col- Oh, no. <laughs> it's for Colette. Today's her birthday, so I went all out and made her something particularly potent for her. You're gonna murder her, aren't you? Let me buy some magic, maybe? What you got? Is there anything new? Oh, hey, there's something new. Buy that. Do I have anything else? Oh, cure all. That's a good item. All right. I got magic. Nope. I'm good. And oh, she's here. Ah, Cloud. Hello, Cloud. Have you found your bride yet? No. Hmm. Is that so? I suppose she had some lingering doubts to work through. Though I must... I, I must wonder where she's gone up to. Ah. Did you know that Blaze isn't particularly fond of wine? Some years ago, Wells had a few drinks of the soft too many and courted Blaze into trying some. Hmm. Oh, to think of what became of things. What happened exactly? Ho oh, ho! Oh. That's not an answer. You don't want to know. That's the answer. They were drunk, they partied too much, and then somebody died. Where are you going? I'm sure you must have a wondrous time right now, Cloud. But you're making sure not to eat proper meals. Everyone is blunt, but honestly, a very rude child. I have to say, I don't worry about her, because she never accidentally ruins people with her words. Oh. Hello, 
I wonder where your bride may have gone. Do you think she disliked her wedding gowns enough that she decided to boycott the ceremony? The unfortunate speech uh, both father and Sophia share is truly infuriating at times. It's a shame, because they're both honest people at heart. And yet, on the surface. Yeah. Unfortunate. Get it together, Cloud. I'm sure that this is your fault. It's not. <laughs> I hate to say it, Sophia, but you're kind of offbeat. That's not true. So you're aware then? No. <laughs> and <laughs> that's one of the things that makes you such a nice person. Hey, don't try to flatter me. It's not like I'm happy to hear that. Alright, and then... There you go. Might as well give her the last couple of items, even if I'm not doing her quest anymore. I want to be nice about it. Who else? Hello. Where could she have gone? Do you think it has anything to do with the whole you being a, a half monster thing? Ugh, sorry, I didn't mean that. You chose her for a reason. There's no way she'd disappear over something like that. It's my sister's birthday today, and I'm really hoping Marina isn't planning on doing anything weird for the occasion. Oh, she is. She definitely is. There you go. Also, Blaze, for you. Good morning, Cloud. I wonder why she's disappeared. It's Chloe's birthday today, so I'm going to prepare a helping, heaping, uh, heaping helping of curry rice for her. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. Where could she have gone? The wedding was all ready to go and everything. Guess whose birthday it is today? <laughs> it's like really tight. <laughs> Poor timing out here. Mine! Think I'm a little taller this year? Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have anything for her, but... I think she likes that, so... Thanks! Wow, you actually knew it was my birthday! I mean, you just told me. All that's missing is a side of rice. Too bad! Ah. I'm having issues with my wife! <laughs> Cloud, at times like this, it's more important than ever to stay focused. A quick dash attack is the perfect way to bring up any fight to a, fin a swift end. Uh, but why do you know that? Oh, you know, reasons. Cool. Cool. It'll be alright, Cloud. I know she will find her. I'll get the finishes to help out too. I wonder what's up with uh, Evelyn's outfit. You think her clothes are weird too? Yeah. They made out of fish scales after all. They are? That would be weird. Uh. Sorry, Cloud. But I think I understand why Carmen would do this. I think anyone would have doubts about uh, tying the knot with a monster, even if it's you we're talking about. And this is why I would not marry her. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you so mean to me? I thought we were on the same page, but in the end, she's just a jerk. These have been way more fun at home ever since Pia showed up. Food tastes better when you uh, more people you have to share it with. It's a whole different story when Shishimi's on the menu, though. I can imagine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, she's not here. Uh, who have I not talked to today so far? Um, Carlos. Carmen, what the heck has got into you? I gotta wonder if Carmen might have headed towards the ruins. The ruins? On the far side of the lake, yep. Not many people go that way. And it's a pretty hush-hush topic on town. I was cleaning off some of the, my stuff at the dock. 
that I swear I saw Carmen on the distant shore. I figured she was ta have, uh, taking a walk, and looking back, it's fishy, especially the day before you guys are supposed to get married and all. I'll keep my eyes peeled and check the shore daily, knowing her she might turn up again like she never left. If only I called out to her when I saw her. Whenever I finish my deliveries in the inn, I always drop by the bass. Just one of the many perks of having the highest quality products. Okay, so I think that was our hint to go over to the ruins. Um, but before I do, I, uh, I, I do have some sweet potatoes I could probably cook. <laughs> Ba -ba 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 -ba. Also, I need to grab some of my veggies that I prepared just for this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Should probably like sell some of these. <laughs> probably have like too many in my pockets. I don't need all of them. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. I could probably also put one of my weapons away. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't hurt to have them, I guess. Uh, actually, you know what I could get rid of? Uh, wait, where am I going? I could just do it here. I could put this away. Alright. And... That way. <laughs> That's what I could put away. Um, I also don't need that, but what I do need is four turnips, uh, turnips, <laughs> more turnips, and this. Just need those. That's all I need. Yeah, it's regular turnips, pink turnips, six spinach, and four cucumbers. All right. Let's go. Um, you guys okay? Let me grab some of these real quick. I cannot pick it up. The seed bags are in the way. Okay, what level are these seed bags actually? Um, level three. There we go. Ba ba ba. And then let us get rid of these. Uh, get rid of the stick. And the milk. Because I don't need that. Grab it. Actually, I should check like, how much food I have. Um, oops. Let's see. Oh yeah, we are good. Cool. Yeah, I was more concerned like when we get closer to winter. Because like... <laughs> what if I ran out, man? What would they do? They will starve to death. Alright. And let's get my weapons back out, because I probably will need it. Let's go! Hello. I have a place to go. That's a big-ass fish. Okay, according to what everyone said, Carmen was last seen heading in the direction of the lake. I wonder if she could have gone to those ruins. Let me go check. Look, I still have my lovely shoes. I really hope Carmen isn't there. Knock, knock, open sesame. Damn, I can't get it to budge. Maybe Wells knows how to open it. Or maybe he knows Jack all. <laughs> uh, where is Wells? Hello. Oh. Wells, do you know how to open the door of the ruins by the lake? Hmm. That door there has been shut tight since I was a boy. I've never seen it open with once in my life. Oh. Don't tell me you think Carmen is in there. From what everyone's told me, that's the last place she went. Curious. Yeah, if so, well, then how could she have gone past an unopened door? I don't know. 
But it, my intuition is screaming that she really isn't there. Hmm. Maybe Marjorie will know something. I don't. Try asking her. I'll do just that. Thanks. Marjorie! Uh. Where are you at? <laughs> oh, she's still in here. Good thing. Oh, wait. She's, she's downstairs. Never mind. She's still in her house, though. Uh, do you know anything about the door of the ruins? The door in the ruins? That's no normal gateway. Gateway? I'll ask. I'll tell you what. That much. It has a spell cast on it. It does? Mm hmm. Try all you like. You're not going to get it to budge with convenient conventional means. And how are we supposed to open it? Calm down, dearie. Uh, sorry. To make a long story short, one no one in this town can open that door. The spell on it is just too powerful. Oh no. Come now. Don't look at me like your world has come to an end. Do you remember the young man with the horn from the festival? Ondoris, I believe his name was. I suspect you'll have more luck asking him for help. Do you think Endorus can open it? Maybe so. He did uh, have a rather powerful magic. If it's possible for anyone, I would hedge my bets on it being him. Gotcha. I'll go see uh, Ondoris right now. Arigato, Thanks, Majuri. I gotta go to the guy who I saw somewhere over here. Hello. That's like right there. <laughs> Hello. Please help. Andoris, I need your help. You have to help, please. Cloud, why don't you take a deep rest first? Oh, sorry. Now then, I assume something's the matter. Yeah. Carmen apparently went into the ruins near town. But there's a spell locked, locking the door and I can't get ins uh, check inside. <laughs> I see. And you'll, you'd like my help opening that door? Yeah. I don't mean to cast aspirations on your genuine concern here, but... <clears throat> if the door can't be opened, what makes you think she's inside? Several people in town said they last saw her heading towards the ruins. That, and I have a strong feeling that that's where she is. Call the intuition. I see. Alright. I'll do what I can. Really? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Let's go right now. Hold on. Uh... I'd like, uh, I'd like to look into the, the something first. I'll follow you to the ruins later. And um, by something you mean the ruins themselves. <laughs> I might find some clues about that door. Oh, gotcha. Makes sense. Don't feel like you have to wait for me. Go on ahead to the ruins. Will do. And thanks again, Ondoris. Off I go! I'll see you take a sip. <laughs> so much voicing. Ah! Ah, uh, water! Those are the ruins you spoke of, correct? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Off we go then. Okay. Gah, maybe Mordecai next time. Ah, oh, apologies. When I take an interest in something, I tend to have a rather single minded approach. Where efficiency is concerned. <laughs> now, to the matter at this door. Fascinating. One cannot discern its purpose as a mere glance. Mind if an old lady butts in on the fun, dearies? Marjorie? Well, how does the door look? <laughs> it's held shut by an extremely powerful spell. That much is certain. Mm-hmm. It's burning question, is uh, how can you open it? But bluntly, no, not by myself. Oh no. However, I did a little research on these ruins before I came here. I cannot say who built them, much less why, but I did find something that may serve as a clue to opening the door. Huh? Yeah? The passage in the book I read says this. Ancient peoples of this land, four-headed horns and four-headed bear, when they stand 
up hand in hand. Doors shall open with light and prayer. Uh, what do you suppose it means? To put simply, it means if a human and an univer claps hands and will it, the door will open. Oh, duh. I guess that was pretty obvious. Come on now. Uh, come on now, Undoris. Let's open the sucker. It's... is an opening. So it isn't. Here now, dearie, step aside. Oh, sure. Okay. Let's say you and me give it a try, Undoris. Certainly. Magic users! It opened! The door finally opened! Oh, ow! Oh, my old bones! Are you okay, Marjorie? I'm fine. That's nothing much. But don't you fuss over an old gal like me. Go on, the door's open. I saw. Why did it work for what I tried, though? I suspect it is because you are not a descent from a local blood bloodline. Why would that matter? The book I read mentioned ancient peoples of the land, remember? The keys to opening the door were a human who lived here for a long time, and an Unover. In other words, you knew it wouldn't work with me from the start, didn't you? You were so gung-ho about it that we didn't, uh, you didn't have to listen. Besides, it made it for a cute little spectacle. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> rude. Uh, I didn't think <laughs> you had it in you to tease like that. <laughs> now then, off with you, Cloud. Yes. We'll have... Uh, we'll, we've done all we can. From here on, it's up to you. Right. Thank you both. You can thank us when you come back built with Carmen. Now, go on now. Right. Time to save my bay. Dragon Cave! Karma's in here, huh? Why would she come, uh, yeah, come someplace this dangerous all by herself? Actually, the why doesn't matter. I need to find her as fast as I can. And first, I gotta save. Because this place. Apparently is no joke, as far as I understand. Oh, boy. Oh, I can also get, like, a... Uh... Ow! Uh, I should be able to get a certain monster here that I want. Ow. A fairy. A dark fairy, to be exact. Okay. Oh, and also, um... There is a type of item I also want here. Question, are those chests or are they monsters? Ooh, I want that. Treasure box. Wine. Uh. This music, though. Uh-oh. Looks like I have to defeat these monsters if I want to check on that statue. No problem. One of them's even sleeping. Ow! Finally, I'm getting these items back. <laughs> it's actually flashed. I just see what that's about. Hello. Weird. This statue looks like the Tanuki from the Pervera Forest. Oh, hey. There's words carved above its belly button. Weird. I'm hungry. So hungry. I want four of my favorite treats. Pink turnips. A stone? A statue was hungry? How's that work? You know what? I've got... <laughs> I'm not going to question it. It says it wants pink turnips, so I'll give it some. And luckily, I'm prepared! Pink turnips. Yeah, like a little spot you can actually grow them as well. Ah, the door is open. Nice. I guess that was the mechanism to unlock the door. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I just want to check to see if there's any, like, mining spots, because this is where you can get, uh, diamonds. That's a big bee! Oh, it's so cool looking! I really like that bee, actually. 
so much cooler than the bee I have. What the fuck? But now it's not the time to befriend another bee. Because, uh, I don't want to get poisoned, please. <laughs> also, if I'm going to befriend a monster, it has to be the Dark Fairy. <gasps> Spot! Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I want to break this spot. Oh, that's a monster. <laughs> Heart! Get out of here! Oh, what's that? A broken hill. Oh, that's actually good for something. Um, I forget what, though, but... It's an item you want. For a recipe, I think. Okay, got some gold. I don't really need that, but that's okay. Don't want that. Don't want that. Let's check. Who is playing? <laughs> Rena. Rena. You're so busy with playing games. What's going on? I guess I'm usually, like, not up at this time, actually. So, it's fine. I'm usually sleeping. Oh, well. Get out of here with that noise. You're a magic user. Uh, oh. Why am I... Okay, yeah, whatever. I could use it on, like, an, an enemy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh, looks like I'll have to defeat these monsters if I want to check out that statue. Oh, these are the uh, the Blood Panthers. I just realized. So, I got a Shadow Panther at home. But if you wanted a red one, <laughs> you can get one. It gives you the same exact item. The statue flashed. I should see what it's about. At all. Here's another statue. This one has the monster in the desert. Bring cucumbers to replace my missing bones. Four will do. <laughs> How's that for an equal trade? Cucumbers aren't nearly as tough as bones. Oh well. They're still pretty hardy. We try to break a cucumber. There, it's open. Okay, thank you. Whoa, they're like right in front of me. <laughs> Ow, I want that. Alright. They just go in a circle. Ow. Still want this though. Up here. Jesus Christ. I haven't found a single dark fairy, though. Where did those spawn? Take that. It's Raven's favorite item. Uh, oh, hello. There's two different ways to go. Oh, boy. Literally two different ways to go. <laughs> Ooh, light. A golem! Right. Ow. Alright. I am actually da causing damage. Cool. <gasps> Platinum! Get away with that. Uh, Alright, cool. I learned nothing. Yeah, that did... Uh, what did that do? Oh, hello! Pathway. <gasps> the puppies! Lions! <laughs> I mean, at least I got one platinum. I think I need two, though. I'll have to double check on the recipe. What? Oh, actually, no, I don't, I don't... I'm not thinking platinum. I need diamonds. That's what I need. I do need more platinum, though, so I'll take what I can get. What do you want? Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that there's 
these two. Uh, yeah, see who these two is next. Spinach six. Do not forget that we are two. Ah, uh, it wants extra because there are two monsters. And luckily, I am prepared for that as well. There, it's open. Let's go! I wonder if we can defeat this dungeon in time. <laughs> There's one! That's a big boy. That must be it. Hello. Uh, oh, I could... Ow. That's probably gonna be problems. <laughs> I got something for you. Befriend me. Befriend me. Befriend. Please. <gasps> we got her! Yay! I was gonna call her, um... Tail. Because, you know, purple fairy. But I don't actually remember what I had planned to name her. <laughs> I don't know where my list is anymore. <laughs> I keep, like, deleting it. Um... Because I didn't like the names all much. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's my old list. Um, you know what? Because uh, I already got Saria. Um, and stuff like that. Maybe... I didn't call anybody Va Vati yet, did I? Foggy? What kind of name is that? I know it's a boy, but, you know. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> we got you! Okay. Got a friend. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boom. I gotta go all the way over around. Alright, got it. Also, there's not been a lot of, um, spots to mine. Oh, that's right. Like, every time I attack, I am healing myself. <laughs> Ooh, that's a white ghost. What the heck? Why are you white? I don't know if it came in white. Interesting. Ow. Okay, let's continue. Oh, there's a spot! How do I get there? I want to mine. How do I how do I get over there? What's that? That's a sleepy dragon. Is my fairy bigger than these guys? At least this dragon's easier to kill. Dragon Fang. Oh, like the other dragon I saw in Prevera Forest. Oh my god, that thing was gigantic. Horrifying. Oh, wait. No, Bati, stay. I could ride you? I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Cheer me up. Oh, what the, the- I don't remember the face looking like that. But I guess that's what it looked like. I'll take care of this first, then I'll mess with the dragon. Ow. Fire breathing dragon! The statue flashed. Oh, it's <laughs> It's getting late. Whoa, even frozen statue- <laughs> That face is enough to give me nightmares. Four turnips. To make the cracks disappear. Is <laughs> it's using turnips to fix the cracks of the ice. Okay. I should probably stop expecting demands to make sense. Alright, and I got your turnips. Right here. There, it's open. <laughs> Ba -ba 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 
the orbs. Oh. All me orbs. All me memories. Oh, it's like Kolonoa. <laughs> Wait, I need to say first. There's real weight into the air here. I know Carmen has to be up ahead. Oh, uh, wait, not yet. I should prepare before I change into battle. Yes, please. Let me save first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like gung-ho. He's ready to go. Alright, now let's go. <laughs> let's go! Let's go. Whoa! Gonna find out if I can actually fight this boss. Where am I? Carmen! Oh no, you don't! Stay back! Why? The two of us. We can't be together anymore. It was actually really fitting to pick her because the sea mo monster. <laughs> and she likes fish. <laughs> Who are you? I am Aquaticus. You... You must be the one who took her away from me. Indeed. Give her back? Now? I refuse! A human mingling with a monster is utter nonsense. D dude, how would I else exist? I mean, come on. How dare you? A half-breed such as you, as you will do not but visit unhappiness upon her. Because of you, she will be doomed to suffer ignominy and shame. She deserves to be free, to free from the curse that is you! You're racist. Thus I will take control of her, guiding her to this place, and away from the poison that ails her. Here she shall remain until she is completely forgotten you. Hearken to me, Cloud. You must leave this town. Leave and forget this child. Return to the land once you belong and stay there. Fuck off. I told you to leave! No. Carmen said she wanted to share her life with me. I have faith in her. You'll leave me no choice. You must relearn your place. Okay, uh, before that... <laughs> because... This is a boss, and I don't want to accidentally, like, teleport <laughs> by accident. Um, I don't think this guy has, like, any, like, weakness weakness. Um, but I will... Let's see. Okay, that's escape, which we do not want. Actually, I don't even know if he does have a weakness. Um, but... Oh, yeah, how do I sort? What is the best one to use? Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got darkness. So I think these are like the better ones. Oh no, better is like by price. You can see right there. Uh, I'm probably not going to be using a lot of magic, honestly. I just want to like, have it as in case of. Uh, curious what explosion does. Will it kill me? <laughs> nope. Ah! I did not mean to do that. Uh, do I? There we go. Dang. He's so fast. Stop moving. Oh, well, he stopped moving. Ow! I'm gonna kick your butt! Mr. Fish. So this is like the other, uh... Uh, no, oh, I've been paralyzed and slept. Oh god, really? <sighs> That's annoying. Hey, my school went up. S stop it. Ow. Stop it. I mean, I do have a, a spell to cure me of this, <laughs> but I don't think I don't really need it. I am pretty sure I'm fine. Get back here. You silly fish. Oh my god. No! Don't be sleepy. 
Now's not the time for that! Ow. <laughs> 60 die. Nice. No, wake up! It's not time to sleep. I mean, it is, technically, but you know what? Stop! Oh my god. That was a beam. <laughs> Stop! Uh, why am I stuck? <laughs> you must learn your place! Cloud, don't do it, please. Just <laughs> give up already. <laughs> Sorry, that scream. <laughs> you think I'll come all this way just to give up? I'm never giving up. Never! I love you too much, madam. Oh my god. No! I will not give up! How am I not dead? I win! And I leveled up! Yay! Carmen. Cloud. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for anything. Why? You should be furious with me. Oh. I said right to your face that my feelings for you would never change, no matter what, and then I do this. I can't believe I could be so cruel. It wasn't you. Hey, it's okay. I can't deny that what you said stung a little. But I have faith in you, Carmen. No matter what happens, I know we can overcome it. You're too kind, Cloud. Thank you for forgiving me. Aw. Cloud. It would seem thy love is true. I told you, you stupid fish. You're really cool looking though. I like your design. <laughs> what? Back for another butt kicking? Beauties, I no longer mean to fight. I simply wish to talk. You do? At first, allow me to apologize. I am sorry for using you. I wish to see the Sharon's flowers bloom once more, no matter what. But the Sharon's tree requires a bond that transcends the barrier of race to make that happen. And if it doesn't bloom again soon, the life of this land would wither and drain away. All seems lost once the humans and universe had ceased to live together. Taking that into account, I hit upon a plan to rectify the issue. The keystone of that plan was you, Cloud. Me? I require someone who could understand the thoughts and emotions of both humans and universe. I stole away your memories and set the events in motion that would lead you to this land. It was a gamble whether or not you would become the bridge I required between the races. But not only did you once again bring the theirs disparate hearts together. You faced me without fear in order to save the one you love. I was right to pin my hopes on upon you, Cloud. I full remorse for the necessity of what I did for to you. Though it was to save this land, it was not the hardest uh, kind, not the kindest treatment. Forgive me. And so all the pieces come together. Yes. And here your trials end. Should you wish it, I will return you to your home with your old memories intact. What say you? Thanks, but no thanks. There's someone here I refuse to leave behind. Besides, this is my home now. I suspect you might say as much. Now the Sheriff's tree shall once again bloom. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Come on, let's go. Okay. I have my bride with me. We are now married. Oh, literally, we are now married. <laughs> uh, whoa, what the? Then let's go. I was not ready for that. <laughs> She's so 
beautiful. What am I wearing, though? What is that blue thing? A boa? A cape? A scarf? Hello! Best wishes to you both. I'm so happy for you. From now on, Cloud, bring the whole family to with you when you stop by, you hear? Cloud, Carmen, I wish you both the very best. Carmen, you should look radiant in your dress. Oh, Cloud, congrats. I'm super happy for you. Try your best with the, <laughs> the greatest bread ever, okay? Thanks. Although, technically, I'm the groom. I could be the bride, too. Ah, oh, Rusk, if only. This wishes to you both. Come have dinner at the restaurant sometime soon. Congrats to you both. I cheer with jealous. I want to get married soon, too. Oh, well, good luck. I don't know who you would marry. Congratulations! If you ever get a hankering for something sweet, let me know and I'll whip something up just in a diffy. God, he's so cute! Also, it's weird that you, like, mimic his hairstyle for your child. It's bizarre. Hello. Dang, Cloud, I'm jealous over here. Congratulations, may happiness ever be with you. I wish you both the very best. You look, you make a lovely couple. Congrats, congrats. That creature. I forgot its name. <laughs> I was like, what are we talking about? <laughs> we don't really say anything, we're just like, thanks, bye. I wish you both the best. I've always been here for you, uh, for your family health care needs, okay? Thanks. I'm so happy for you, Ball Cloud Carbon. Don't forget to laugh, love, and argue your hearts joke together. If you need any medicine, I'll be here for you. Yeah, she's so sweet. The two of you make a lovely couple, though you look even more genuine in an assortment with something sparkly here and here. Uh huh. Well, this is an unfortunate occasion, Carmen, I'm sure. She's trying to say she wants you to be happy. Well, well, isn't this the least celebratory day ever? I should hope you too, if you will. Well? Be happy together, right? Yes. Their wedding is weird. <laughs> they just walk around town. Hey, brother-in-law! Carbon, you look beautiful today. I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, she does look really cute, actually. Shucks, thanks. Carlos. All right, Cloud, you're officially Carmen's keeper now. My vigil is over, and I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> Liar. I can miss you, sister. Seriously, though, take care of my sister, okay? Of course. I will. He's gonna be all alone in that house. And we're, like, not that far away, so it's fine. <laughs> if I had a hat, I'd tip it to both of you. Let me know if your married life ever calls for some new weapons, yeah? I can make them my own, so... Congrats. It's nice to know even people like us can, you know. So I think she's also half monster. She was the phoenix. But we never really got confirmation on that. <laughs> Congrats. Good luck with all the fun domestic stuff. Like cleaning and cooking and laundry. Sounds like a waking nightmare to me. No offense. Uh, sure. 
My best wishes to you both. I've put in an order for children's toys, so do come back when you're ready to take the next step. I guess I have to buy the toys first before I can get pregnant. Or she, for her to get pregnant, sorry. <laughs> it didn't mention that you had to buy toys, but maybe you do? Rainbow! <laughs> Rainbow! May rainbows ever stretch across your horizons. If you ever need my art to brighten your world, let me know. Whoop. Sorry. I don't have to press anything. It's just all automatic. I don't know why, though. Not that the song was doing anything specific. Hello. Cloud, you're getting married, huh? Congrats. Oh yeah, she's like, wait for me to so you can marry, right? <laughs> Congratulations, I wish you two nothing but the best. Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin. Do you take this woman to be your wife in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer? Yeah. Until death do you part? Yeah. I do. Do you take this man to be your husband in sickness and in health, or richer or for fur? Don't that through your part. <laughs> I do. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. May gentle winds ever blow out your backs, and may you ever find shelter beneath the Sharon's tree's boughs. Hooray! Let's build the happiest family in the world, Carmen. Yeah. When the, for the real good time, that's for- oh my god. <laughs> I love her. Kiss that lady. She made a fish pun. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it! Now, um, I suppose, like, usually this would probably be the ending of the series. Uh, but guess what? I'm not ending it here. Um, I actually do want to do a couple more episodes. Mostly, I just want- <laughs> I just want to get, like, some really cool items, you know? Um, I never finished. I never finished doing what I wanted to do. So, um... I, I think I mentioned this before a while ago, but um, I do want to get the final tools, which I need to be level 80 for. Uh, and I also wanted to get that one accessory to get, you know, item drops a little bit easier, which I, I never got the diamond I need. And that's really all I needed. It was just a diamond, I think. Um, where is my recipe, actually? Three rings! Alright. Uh... Let's see. I was trying to make the lucky thing. Because nothing's really going on in the, the screen, so I have a chance to look around. Um, wait, where is my item? Where is the item I want to make? There's witch items, diamond, holy scarf. Uh, is it not? Oh, Happy Ring. That's what it's called. Yeah, I just need one diamond and one of those four of the clovers I made to get the drop rate up. Um, and then, it'll probably be like smooth sailing to so try to get some other stuff. But, yeah, because like the thing I wanted to make before I ended the series, like officially, I also wanted to have a child. That's the other thing. We're gonna have a child. I haven't decided if I wanted a boy or a girl. Uh, I don't know if there's an option to just do random. I might just do that, just because. I don't know. <laughs> Because if I get a girl, I'll probably call it Romani. If I get a boy, I don't know what I would call it. Um, but, yeah. We'll, we'll have it. Um, yeah, I also wanted to make the Rune Edge. Just because I could. So, those are like the things I wanted to finish the series on. So, have a child with Carmen. Get the final tools at level 80, 
get the ruined blade, or sorry, rune edge, at ni <laughs> that's like level 94. I think we're getting there. Um, and also make the rune shield, which is also level 88. Uh, just wanted to make like, all the rune items, really. And I think that's really it. Um, because there's still like some stuff I think we can do after the story is over. Like there's still like quests we can do. Um, we can't get like the romance subplots anymore. I don't think. I don't know actually. I, we could probably continue like befriending characters, even though the girls. Uh, we just won't be getting like the love, the love events for it, which would be kind of weird <laughs> if we did, you know. Rune Factory series. I will also say, this game. Well, it's not my favorite of the Rune Factory series. I do think this one is the most condensed in a story building way. Unlike um, Rune Factory 4, which is a lot more on the random side, which does make it a little frustrating to play when you want to get like plot stuff done. It's really, it's really like aggravating. Um, and Rune Factory 5, which I, I haven't played a lot of it yet, but from what I have played of it, I did enjoy like some of the characters. Um, I kind of do miss like the more simplistic uh, graphic that we had in this one and four, and I mean all of them actually. Uh, Rune Factory one, two, three, and four all have the same two D style, which I really liked. Um, and while I don't hate the three D style because I think uh, Frontiers actually was pretty good with it, and Tide of Destiny looked great. Didn't like the way the game played with like harvesting and stuff like that, but like graphically looked wonderful. And Rune 55, well, it is kind of a mess. I do like that you can still like marry whoever you want despite the character that you play as. So I like that freedom. It's great. Um, but I do really hope that they will like bring back the other games as well onto the Switch. So I would love Rune Factory 1, uh, Rune Factory 2, despite all like what people complain about and um yeah also frontier and tides of destiny fucking would love them on the switch and at any time we get rune factory 6 i hope it's better i hope it like doesn't have as many bugs um i hope they take their time with it and make a good fun game because I have noticed like every game, I, well, I say that, but I actually have no idea how 2 ends. I know how 1 ends, and I know how this one ends now, <laughs> and I know, well, okay. I can't really say I know how 4 ends because I've gotten like 2 of the endings, but I never got the 3rd ending because of the whole RNG issue like I mentioned before. But um, I've noticed that every Rune Factory game tends to have a dragon in it, like the mainline ones, so for in case of spoilers, you don't want them to know. Uh, skip this section. Just gonna say this real quick. But I noticed in Rune Factory 1, we had the Terrible, which is the Terra Dragon. Um, I don't remember which one was in 2, because again, I didn't get that far. And then in Rune Factory 3, this one was the Water Dragon, the Aquarius guy. Uh, and then in 4, it was the Wind Dragon. Uh, but Vanitas or whatever? I don't remember what her name is. And you! Thank you! But, um... Congratulations, we won! <laughs> the end. Yeah, so... I noticed each game, like the mainline, has a dragon type. And there's like, supposed to be four dragons, I think it was? Or it's like, uh, dragons of every element. Which were mentioned, um... That you got to see all of them in four. But I don't remember much about that. <laughs> I just know that they were included in 4, and you could fight them, I think. Maybe. I don't, don't quote me on that. Hey, um, thanks for a lot of stuff. What was supposed to be a normal wedding turned into a whole thing. Crisis narrowly averted, for sure. I really put you through the ringer, and I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Sure, things were pretty dicey for a minute, but the ceremony was amazing. I'll never forget it. Thanks. So this is the start of our new life together, huh? My heart is racing. Oh, I know. What if I give you a new nickname? Have any requests? Uh... <laughs> Cookie. God. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> like, Cookie is weird. Hubby is silly. 
Um, you, you can call me deer. Uh, how about deer? I get that. From now on, you're my dearest deer. <laughs> Boy, it's already making me blush. I didn't mind living on my own. But knowing I wake up every day next to carpet now is so much better. What are you smirking about over there, mister? I thought I was deer. <laughs> Just thinking of how happy I am. And on that note, let's build the happiest family ever, okay? Absolutely. We finally- oh god, I am- <laughs> I am injured. <laughs> okay, uh, where is- let's see, I want this one. Let's see, I'll put that there. Actually, though. No. Yeah, it was fine. Where is my teleporter? Um, I want to escape. Heal me. Thank you. <laughs> Today's lunch is of love is Sifu Gretin. Make sure you eat every bite, last bite, okay? The Sharon tree got bigger again. Do you think the flowers bloom soon? I sure hope they do. So, uh, wait. Oh. Aw. If I leave. <gasps> Look at that! Oh, it's so pretty. We did it. I mean, I don't think they were blooming, though. It was just getting there. But yeah, so we still have a lot of quests that we can do. Um, I probably will do some of these. But in the meantime, uh, this episode is getting quite long. And we probably should end it. Um, oh, actually, one thing we can do before we do... Is let's take a look at the, the new f monster friend that we got. Let's see what they give us. Because in... In the guide, and hopefully this is correct, it did say that they produce like some type of like fairy item. Actually, where did it, where did it go? Where are you at? Oh, I could have befriended one more actually. There she is. We got fairy powder, dude. Having easy access to fairy powder fucking great. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it anymore. So where was I going to put her? I don't think I was going to leave her in here. Um, let's see. Actually, I don't even know if I had a proper spot for her now. I think she was supposed to be with these guys, but then I got an ant. <laughs> so this is where she should be, actually. I don't know what to do with the yet. <laughs> Where do you want me to put you, man? Actually, you know what? I think I'll put her over here. Because bug. And spider. Yay. I like that. That's good. Alright. So in the meantime, uh, I think I'm going to end this here. So until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I, will, I will do more recording sometime later but in the meantime i should probably focus a little bit more on another series such as detective Pikachu returns because i gotta get more episodes of that soon so until next time bye